Number 7 Investigates team has a home buying horror story. The people caught in the middle all say they lost their brand new dream homes because of it. And Denver 7 Investigative reporter Ryan Luby is on the case. And good evening. Quite a case this is. Two friends each plan to buy nice new townhomes near Sloan's Lake. Two townhomes in all more than a year ago. They each put down money for them, but literally at the last moment, there's record to show that the developer pulled a legal move to rip the homes away and put at least one of them back on the market, listed for a whole lot more money. If you live and love some of Denver's more established neighborhoods, you know the never-ending construction is a never-ending headache anymore. But an even greater frustration can come from getting caught up in the construction itself. And got on this wait list um, a year and a half ago. And hearing why Jordan Head and his friend say their dreams to live here to each buy one of these townhomes got crushed. Me and my friend were so excited to move into like a new hot up and coming neighborhood. And I guess it's so hot that I guess you just rip people off. Indeed, both are no longer playing a waiting game, but a legal game. And records appear to confirm their concerns that the developer Presidio Sloan's in the final days put them in a pinch by making it impossible for them to seal the deal. I went through the preparations of, you know, packing my stuff up, renting my old property out. Um, as well as my other friend who purchased a property. She terminated her lease and bought out of her lease early so she can, in preparation, move into this property, packed up her life, all of this stuff. The developer claimed both Jordan and his friend each decided to skip out on their own closing date. If you're ready to close, like you work with, you say, oh, hey, guys. Despite the fact they had been looking forward to that day for a year and a half. Literally more than a year now. Yes. And they're quibbling over one day. Correct, to close on a property. Never mind, in Jordan's case, the developer's own listing agent said the closing date was negotiable, perhaps a walkthrough. On the 8th or 9th and close on the property on the 10th. Never mind, the townhome had not even passed a final city inspection. Nope, instead on August 8th, the day Jordan says he was making sure his townhome was built as he wanted it, the developer was sitting at a closing table and then arguing that Jordan breached his own contract when he failed to show. They know I'm over at the property doing a walkthrough, so why would he be at a closing table waiting for me to close? That is the most guilty, just conniving thing I've ever seen. Jordan's townhome has not yet gone on the market again, but his friends did at one point, listed for $80,000 more than what she was going to pay. Totally just greedy. It's total greed. You're in unit 12? Yep. Jordan says his townhome could probably go for even more, maybe as much as $100,000 more. Apparently there's no recourse other than you got to go sue someone to have them complete something that they obligated themselves to do for over a year to me and another friend of mine. That is exactly what Jordan and his friend are doing. They filed suit just a few weeks ago. The developer still has their earnest money after all, collectively more than $45,000. They initially offered to return it, but only if Jordan and his friend signed a waiver agreeing not to file litigation. Well, in a statement to Denver 7 Investigates, Presidio Sloan says in part that it regrets that Jordan and his friend chose to file a lawsuit despite its offer to resolve the dispute through mediation. And it says in part that Jordan and his friend failed to timely secure financing, also causing the deal to fall through. But Jordan says that is just not true. I met their obligation every time they took my check. He showed us documentation to prove his financing had long been approved. And if anything, he says he and his friend were each prepared to pay cash if need be. Bottom line, he says the developer made too many mistakes, which forced him and his friend to live through this home buying horror tale. I don't feel comfortable with the development in the community if this is how the developer behaves. I don't know, this is eye-opening to me. Ryan Luby, Denver 7 Investigates. Wow, and most recently, the developer has offered to settle the lawsuit with Jordan and his friend, but so far, both of them say the settlement isn't even close to what they'd expect after mm. dealing with all this.